Hey guys, check in, check in at the airport on our way um, to Miami and then we're going on a cruise. So, um, welcome to the Travel Channel. If you're new here, my name is Tony. I am Entrepreneur World Traveler. Um, so yeah guys, stay tuned for the journey. And um, it's gonna be lit, it's gonna be lit. So I'm gonna be sure to catch some good footage for you guys. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. It's the day of the cruise. Right now, I'm just chilling in the hotel room. Um, I got some friends down here in Miami that I want to touch base with before I get on a cruise, but I don't think that's going to happen um, because we check into our cruise at 12 30, 1 o'clock. And um, yeah, I haven't heard from them yet. So um, yeah, Miami is definitely one of my, my spots, though. I love Miami. I love the atmosphere. I love the vibe. I love the people. Um, so we'll see how it goes. This book by about five, six years old. Now. Mm -hmm. Five years old. Five years. By far the easiest check-in. Already on the boat. Less than twenty minutes. The whole theater on the ship, that's crazy. Yo, this is so crazy. It got a whole theater on the ship. This is um, probably the best ship that we've been on so far. Um, the Carnival Horizon, so far, so good. I've never been on a ship that had a movie theater. It's crazy, it blows my mind. So, um, gotta go back through the casino um, to the sports bar. And I kinda wanna play blackjack, I do. No thank you. I kinda wanna play blackjack. So, we are gonna go through there and see what's going on. It is nice. We're going to see tonight's Halloween and final chapter, hopefully. But this is everything they have. So maybe we'll check out another movie sometime. Pedestrian? Uh, yeah.
welcome back day two of the vibe my beautiful people day two of the cruise i mean um yesterday after we left the halloween ends imax experience i just kind of chilled back relaxed a little bit um so this is day two of the vibe just left the casino um on deck 15 the serenity lounge 21 and over a little bit more of a laid back relaxed type of vibe you know me I don't like all that riffraff, all that noise, all that, you know, chaos. So this is my vibe right here. So I'm about to just chill out for a little bit, um, catch a suntan, relax, take in this beautiful, beautiful scenery. I'm gonna give you guys a glimpse of the ocean. And um, yeah, guys, I always say this in all my videos. Don't ever think that um, traveling is too expensive anybody can afford it. it's just based on your priorities you know um save a 50 to 100 dollars here and there even with a cruise what you can do is once you pay your initial down payment you can pay monthly on it so whatever you know you can afford on a monthly basis you got pretty much a whole year to take care of it so it ain't even that bad you, know, you feel me it ain't even that bad once you think about it like that you got you know a whole year to pay for a beautiful vacation pretty much like a five-star experience you get treated like royalty yo i love cruising because it allows me to see you know three four sometimes five countries in one trip so you know i love cruising i love airplanes i love staying in particular in a particular location um but i do i really enjoy cruising because it's very relaxing you know sit back enjoy all the beautiful scenery and it's just something about the ocean, yo. It just gets me in my thoughts and make me think like, yo, wow, you know, God is so amazing. God created all of this, you know? So um, that's my little spill for right now, guys. I'm about to, you know, catch a vibe, relax, and I'll catch y'all a little bit later. Serenity Lounge. This is, you know, 21 and over vibe less crowded less chaotic like i was telling you guys very peaceful all right guys it's getting a little too hot for me so i'm gonna have to go down and get some some shade this what it looked like look at that view that's crazy i'm about to have to go get some shade yo A bit too hot out there. I'm gonna have to go um, find a little shaded area. <laughs> a little too hot because I didn't have an umbrella over my little cabana bed area. So we're gonna go downstairs, probably go back through the casino, stay with my people's at, and um, yeah. All right, so went back through the casino, didn't see my people, so I'm about to go back to the room um, just to see where they at. Uh, we booked super last minute, guys, so we are on the bottom floor we didn't get a balcony this time um but it's all good it's all good uh my family <laughs> they were cracking jokes it's like you know you know the back of this you know the shit like the back of your hand because <laughs> i was jotting down like little notes in my phone of like different areas of the ship like which way you got to leave out to go to a certain area um like the basketball court the serenity lounge casino all that <laughs> so i put some notes in my phone last night um just to, just to keep up with things so they were cracking jokes but um one thing about a ship guys it's so big and it's different elevators not all elevators take you um to the same location like, um, there are certain areas on the ship where you got to go to the front of the boat. And you have to get on the right elevators at the front of the boat to go to that location. So if you get on the area, if you get on the elevators at the back, you're not going to be able to gain access to that particular floor or area that you're looking for. So just keep that in mind. But I'm about to go chill out in the room for a little bit. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later. <laughs> Day three of the cruise.
Cruise Private Lounge. countryside a little bit but we'll see guys I started writing a poem last night as I was sitting under the stars I was just you know just amazed at all this beauty like yo our God is so awesome I, I'm just marveled at the mere thought of such a beautiful creation like what like every time I come to the ocean that's why I love the ocean guys because it just makes me take in all of God's beauty and majesty like God created all this all this y'all like it's, it blows my mind absolutely all this after brunch vibes you know just chilling back in my little cabana deck 15 um just writing i know i'm gonna have some amazing poems by the end of this vacation because you know it's just I love to be in nature. I love this type of vibe. I love just to lay back and allow my thoughts to run allow the Holy Spirit to talk to me. Yo, like, man, I'm grateful, yo, to be in a place, to be in a position where I can travel, you know, um, with my family, with whoever. I'm just grateful that, you know, I'm grateful to God to be, like I said, in a position where I can travel. So, I've been definitely enjoying my vacation so far definitely enjoying it yo I love it because I can just unwind unplug no emails I'm already I don't I haven't I don't have social media so I'm that it's not even a worry a concern of mine no emails no text messages no phone calls just you know just completely unplug unwind enjoy just be in the moment be in the present my mother said something yesterday it was so it was so good she said we got to command ourselves to be happy command ourselves to be free so I command you to be happy regardless of what your circumstance is regardless of what you're up against command yourself to be happy speak to yourself speak to your situation and although it may not align with the vision for your life doesn't mean it won't ever align it just means it's going to take a little bit of time it's going to take a little bit of time and then that time and that process that's where your faith is being developed that's where your faith is being developed so if you look at your life right now and you're not where you want to be you know you haven't accomplished what you thought you would accomplish just continue to speak it into existence continue to pray over it where it says pray without ceasing and our problem is that we oftentimes we get discouraged by what we see so we we don't speak to our current circumstance we don't speak to the re reality of the vision that we want for our lives we we get discouraged by what we see so i encourage you on today to command yourself to be happy command yourself to be free regardless of what you're up against catching the vibe nice fresh salad enjoying the views um just been sitting here writing some poetry you know enjoying my vacation the salad is good too So let's hope I win five bands or free crews. Never been to the show, so I can say I've finally been. I 
had to run back to my room to get my jacket because I got a little chilly. We'll be on our way back to deal or no deal. I feel it in my bones that I'm going win. So I'm speaking it into existence. All right, guys, I'm going to win. Free cruise, $5,000. I'm out of breath. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys back inside the show. So you would think after 51 years you would trust her, correct? I'm gonna trust her, I'm gonna go with seven. You're gonna go with seven and trust her. Your wife, she's willing to throw away 51 years if she's wrong. <laughs> that granddaughter has some uh, problems. That granddaughter got some problems. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna lock it in for the granddaughter, right? So I'm gonna say it one more time, say it loud on the microphone. Are we locking in briefcase number seven? Yo, Carver Horizon, you heard him. We're locking in briefcase number seven. Ah! Yo, good luck, Frank. Now, let me tell you. You got either say no deal in that microphone or hit that red buzzer. He said no deal, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for the 350. All right, Frank, good luck. Remember, your game is theirs. I tell you, I got 54 people on the way. I got four people with that bingo package. Frank, you got to help them out in the audience. We're trying to give away at least a five-day cruise or $5,000. Now, let me ask you, how are you feeling right now? Nervous. nervous, don't be nervous. Day five. Good morning, my beautiful people. Day five of the cruise on Carnival Horizon. We are finally about to touch down in beautiful Aruba. Um, see that sunrise over there? It's a bit of a glare, but so amazing. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get some good footage today on the island. I don't know if we have any excursions plans. Probably not, because like I said before, I've already been to Aruba. So we're probably just gonna lay back, explore, maybe go to the beach, but I'll catch you guys on the island. Good morning, my beautiful people. Finally touched down in Aruba. So we're about to walk around all the shops that close right now. So we're gonna take a tour and enjoy this beautiful island. This is my buddy Stafford. That's your name? Say hi to the camera. Oh, it's filming. Oops. <laughs> Boy, hey, how's it going? We're at Aruba right now. And yep, I'm working here. And this girl, what's your name? Tony. <laughs> All right, this is Tony Stark. Yeah, she's with a family right outside. And yes, she's gonna have a good time here. Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, enjoy your vacation. All right, nice to meet you, buddy. Yep. The funniest thing happened, we were in the, uh, the store. And at first I asked the guy, can I have some of his money? Like, cause I like to collect money from different countries. He said, are you trying to rob me? <laughs> and then I asked him if I could take his picture or his video. He said, I don't have social media. I'm single, but I'm not looking for a relationship. I said, neither am I. We're about to climb up here to these rocks. I'm ill prepared. I got on these sandals, so um, wish me luck. <gasps> We're out here exploring and Aruba. I didn't know it was so small, such a small island. Like I said, it is my second time here, but last time we didn't get to explore. We just kind of went to the beach. So today we're doing the things that I like to do. Um, hiking, common mountains and rocks and in the wilderness. You feel me? So we're going up to the top. Hope you guys are enjoying the view so far. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. This is day four of the cruise. I believe so. I'll see you guys at the top. Made it to the top. I'm out of breath. We did it. Down the mountain we go. Check in, check in. So I told, I know I told you guys I was gonna give you some footage of Aruba, but to be honest, I was very underwhelmed with the tour that we took. It was just, uh, um, but luckily we only spent, it was only $25 a person. 
but you know i just wasn't blown away we didn't we didn't really learn anything about the island all he did was show us places to eat wendy's burger king um we went to an aloe vera store uh and then we drove to the lighthouse but this is the one thing i didn't like when he was selling us the tour he said we were going to visit the lighthouse he didn't say there was an additional fee to visit the lighthouse um so i was a little irritated by that um we drove past the beach dropped some people off and pretty much came back to our pickup location and that was the end of the tour so um i, I pretty much just slept the entire tour so i didn't get much footage but it's a very small island um i guess there's really nothing much to see besides the beach to be honest um so yeah guys chilling back on deck 15 the serenity lounge and um i'm a little tired so i might just chill out here for a couple hours take a nap maybe finish the poems that i started this morning um but i'll catch you guys later on if not tonight i'll catch you guys tomorrow in bonaire 1.30 a.m. I set my alarm for like a two hours to take a nap because I was really tired. But I guess, uh, like I said, I was really tired. I said I missed the alarm over slept. So I woke up middle of the night. Um, I had to go see what's going on on um, the Serenity deck. See if it's open, see if it's closed. And um, yeah. But I think the guy that got on elevator is broken because it won't open up on 4.15. Like the door is trying to open, but it won't open. What the heck did I get myself into? Yo, I hope I'm not stuck in this elevator, bro. That's just crazy. I ended up get, getting off on um, the IMAX floor, deck six, and I want to walk up to see if it's actually open. If not, I guess I go back to my room. <laughs> I wouldn't try and be stuck stuck on that the elevator, bro. But, um, I'll tap in with you guys when I get to the top, because I gotta walk up about seven flights of steps. That's why the elevator wouldn't work. It's closed. Welcome back to day five of the vlog. I don't know why I put up the sign. Day five, yes. Yeah, four or five of the vlog. We are in Bonaire. Um, just pulled up to the beach. Beautiful scenery so far. I like it much better than Aruba, to be honest with you. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, I was very underwhelmed with Aruba. Good morning, good morning. Hey, the chair, the chair is free. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we have to sub that Absolutely breathtaking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Back again on the beautiful beaches of Bonaire, Bonizzi, you feel me? Oh, look at that. Look at that view. Tell me it ain't amazing. Tell me it ain't absolutely amazing. Yo, I'm blessed. God has been absolutely good to me to allow me to travel the world to see this, to step outside of my, my comfort zone. And I was talking to some family members the other day. I was saying how I don't know what it's like to be fearful. I don't know what it's like to to have limitations because even as a child I can always remember me being you know adventurous having adventurous spirit and I, I meet people and I have there's another lizard guys I get sidetracked so easily but there are a lot of lizards on this beach <laughs> come here little guy hey come back <laughs> he's running away from me um what was I saying oh I was telling I was having a conversation with some family members and I was saying how I never really remember myself having fears. I mean, yes, I, I fear things like um, uh, rodents, like mice and rats and things like that. But as far as like being adventurous, I've always been that free spirited go getter type of person. And I'm grateful for that type of mindset, that type of mentality. You feel me? Because I talk to a lot of people, even, you know, some family members and close friends. Some of them have no desire to travel. 
no desire to get on a plane because of those fears. And I'm not saying that those fears aren't rational, but I am saying don't allow those fears to stop you, to hinder you from living your best life. Don't allow those fears to keep you confined to your, your comfort zone. I've been traveling, I've been traveling for, for well over 10 years. I think I've seen, I've lost count of how, how many countries I've seen, how many nationalities I've experienced, how many great people that I've met just by stepping outside of my comfort zone. So I wanna encourage you guys not to get complacent. Don't allow your fears to keep you stagnant. Don't allow your fears to hinder you. But know that you can do anything that you set your mind to. I'm gonna let these people pass. I'm never gonna walk down the beach. getting tired i wish I'd, i forgot my tripod but i dare you i challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone whatever that may be oh my god that's a big lizard come here little fella come here yo that's a huge one yo this beach is big i'm hoping that an iguana doesn't just jump out on me like here i go you want me to come <laughs> Y'all like my pink hair? I decided to do something different. S stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, I've been blonde for the last seven years. I decided to do something different. So that's on that. But yeah, don't allow your fears to hinder you. Nice pink rock that matches my hair. It is amazing. Don't allow your fears to hinder you. Don't be afraid of the unknown just because you've never experienced it before. Don't be afraid to step out into new territories to experience new things because it just might blow your mind. You just might fall in love with it. Here I am, a travel vlogger, um, living my life, doing the things that I've always imagined. Um, so the purpose of these videos, guys, is not just to vlog my experiences, to share my journeys, but to also encourage you, to inspire you, to motivate you, to get out there, step out of your comfort zone, do things that you always wanted to do because you are possible. The only limitations you have are the ones you impose on yourself. I'm telling you, the only limitations you have are the ones you impose on yourself. But guys, that's our little chat for right now. Um, I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful beautiful scenery and i'll see you guys in the next clip Creativity has been on another level. God has been, the Holy Spirit has been downloading, you know, poem at the poem at the poem. It's just been like, it's been crazy. When I, I'm going to tell you this. If you open yourself up to be led by the Holy Spirit, He's going to talk to you, yo. And He's going to, you know, He's going to give you the words that you need to say. You know, for me being an artist, uh, uh, a spoken word poet, you know, there were many moments in my life where I didn't write. You know, I think I went like three years without writing because of the toxicity, the toxicity and negativity that I was around. You know, the Holy Spirit couldn't flow. But check it out. This is something that I, um, I just started working on this morning. Every day I discover new powers. Powers I never knew I had. If I'm created in his image, I am the personification of Christ. I can't blend in no matter how hard I try. I am the light. He commanded me to come forth, to step out of Egypt and to let go of everything that had me hostage to step boldly into the land that he has promised. I know it's a little rusty, but um, like I said, I just started working on it this morning. Um, but yo, 
I'm in such a beautiful place, not like just physically, literally, but you know, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It's been, this journey has been amazing for me, you know, and to see how, you know, God has completely transformed my life in, in under three years. Um, like I said, I think it's been like, I went a long time, like three years without writing. And for me to be in this place where, you know, poems and creative, creative ideas flow to me on a regular is amazing. So it's like, yo, I got to keep my notepad with me. I got to keep my phone with me so I can jot down things in my notes. Excuse me, I just got a message. And, you know, what's crazy. I remember um, probably like for three and a half, four years ago, I was at a conference and this pastor, this lady, she had prophesied to me and said, you know, um, the Holy Spirit is going to be downloading to you, talking to you. So you got to make sure you keep your notepad close to you. And um, now I see that that prophecy coming into manifestation because it'd it be like some days I'd be like, OK, OK, let's let's just let's just chill today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yo, it's, it's I'm in such a beautiful place right now. And I just want to encourage you guys. I know I said, you know, I was done with my, my little rant, my little rave. But I just want to keep it a buck with you guys real quick. If you're going through something in your life, no trust and belief. Oh, my God. That's a big ass lizard. Oh, my God. I'm, oh, my God. I'm scared. Woo. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I talk all that talking about, come here, little guy, but he coming, and that's a big one. Sheesh. <laughs> Let me go somewhere where they not so populated, because they coming from the east, north, west, and south on your girl. <laughs> it will turn around for your good. You just got to know truth on your side. Um, no trust and believe that God will see you through, that God hears your cross. God is attuned to your cross. You hear me? God is attuned to your cross. Yes, you. You watching this video right now. So, all you got to do, ask the Holy Spirit. You see what I mean? Bro, he just went behind a rock. That thing is huge, though. Oh, my God. Walking along dusty road. <laughs> because I was afraid of those iguanas coming out on you, girl, man. So, I decided to take the long way around back to the beach. We finally made it back, bro. But I had to walk around because I was afraid of the iguanas. They was coming out every which way on your girl, though. So, um, it's a cool little vibe, though. Cool little atmosphere. And I want the, the I want the pirate in the cute service dog. That's what I want. Day five, day six of the vlog. I think I lost track. Um, we are in La Ramona, Dominican Republic. I don't know if I've been here before. I feel like I have. Well, I've been to the DR, but I don't know if I've been to La Ramona before. So, um, this is the vibe. You hear the music in the background.
the Mokis and the Parrots. La Ramona. On our way to a city tour of Dominican. Woo, this is a crowded bus. Hope they got air conditioning. plants I really should get one for my brother but my mother thinks I'm going to go to jail what y'all think es muy caliente Republica Dominicana in vacation with me madre Woo wee! Is that? Look at that pizza spot. Where? Right. Oh. Can I see it? I think I got it. Uh, yo hablo un poquito español. Uh, someday I will be very fluent in Spanish. Give me about a year. Okay? This view is absolutely breathtaking. My God. Look at that. Wow, look at that view. We are in La Ramona. I think I've been here before. I've been to the Dominican. I've been to the DR like three or four times, but I kind of remember coming to La Ramona, but I don't remember being to this exact location. So it's absolutely breathtaking. Hermosa, very beautiful. Look at this view. I'm, I'm, I'm a nature kind of girl. I love, I live for a view, good background, good scenery. Woohoo! Bon de Sion. I uh, don't know what that is, but this view is beautiful. <gasps> ah, yes. Gives me Italian vibes or European vibes. You say you want to hold the camera? Yeah. All right. You know I always got to come with the motivation. So we are back again. Beautiful, beautiful destination, location. So today's word of advice is to follow your dreams. No matter how hard it may seem, no matter who tell you you can't do it. Because I remember the first time I said I was going to be a world traveler. Everybody in my class laughed at me because they've never seen it done. They've never seen anyone in their life do it. But you said, I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. That's my dream. I'm going to stick to it. And here we are. Living my dream. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. So follow your dreams. I don't care how big they are. Don't share your dreams with small-minded people because all they're going to do is talk you out of them. Be bold, be confident, and go forth into every direction that you wish, every dream that you wish to accomplish. I'm running out of storage. Oh my God, this is. You want me to take your picture right there? Yeah. All right. You can take it with your phone. And I'm your camera. photographer. I'm the professional photographer, guys. Only charge twenty-five dollars an hour. But she didn't pay me, so I guess I'm doing it for free. We're going to try to climb up here. Dreams do come true. I am living my best life, traveling the world. You want me to get your picture like you hide behind them? I should have bought my camera because I'm running out of storage on my phone. But this square gives me European vibes. I like the architecture. It's very nice. Now we're gonna go up to the bell. I don't know if it's a Liberty Bell or what, but we're gonna hike up to the top and hope I don't need my puffer on the way up. 
This museum was very interesting. We learned a lot of cool facts about the Dominican and um, the history of the Asian people and the culture. First time having rabbit. Let me show you what it looks like. The waiter brought it out, and I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> so let's show you what it looks like. It's braised rabbit in a pastry shell. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Would never try again. I didn't kind of lost track what day of the vlog it is. I'm gonna say day six or day seven, maybe. Got my hair up today. I'm about to put it back down. I don't like my hair up. I like it when it's down, hanging down my back. But today we are in Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. Hola, buenos dias, hermosa personas. Um, trying to look for a tour of the city, see what we're going to get into. Um, one thing about these people, yo, when they be trying to get you on these tours, they don't tell you. They be skipping over a lot of details, a lot of important facts and they talk really fast and think you're not gonna catch on. <laughs> so, um, I've never been to this part of DR. I've been to Punta Cana twice. I've been to La Ramona twice, I wanna say. Um, or Punta Cana once, La Ramona twice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna vlog this day, see what we get into, probably, like I said, tour of downtown. I don't really wanna go to the beach. Um, like you've seen one beach you've seen them all not to say that the water isn't nice but i like to be adventurous i don't like to just sit on the beach so i want to explore and see what this island has to offer so i'll catch you guys um later on when we decide what we're going to do one thing i forgot to tell you guys that i can say is i have been without wi-fi for the last seven eight days and i realized how much i don't even need it you know i'm just so i'm right now i'm just focused on being in the present enjoying the present moment not being so engulfed in my phone besides you know vlogging uh my travels but other than that you know i haven't had a desire to chuck emails text messages um anything like that and it's been so peaceful yo it's like yo i'm i'm like totally unwinding disconnecting from everything that's going on back home because i feel like it's, it's going to be there when i get back you feel me so why not just enjoy the present moment embrace where i am enjoy my travels and just vibe out you know so that's that's been a beautiful thing that i wanted to share with you guys What's the population? 
Because the population of the island is the... Oh, see the mango tree? The what? The mango on the tree. Oh, okay. They're not ripe yet. They're not ready yet. Just look at the, oh, okay. the plate with the school. You remember we here is... No te sientas nunca de rota. They beat you with those sticks if you say the new policeman is just no gun. This is the Definitely more the scale like mine is from five to six points. Other stone like sapphire, ruby, or emerald is only from two to three points. Hard to me. The, the name Lani Outside of the house of Amber where they um they sell the, the national amber stone of the Dominican. Um Asque Gombrenmos Moy Garo. Let's wait for these. Uh, I said, Hazke uh, compremos muy caro. they trying to get us to buy some very expensive uh, jewelry. All we want is t shirts and souvenirs. <laughs> so my mother is still in there. I just kind of like just walk out. Um, he was like, No problem, we take a credit card. But. Descuento para ella. Sí. Uh, un poquito español. <laughs> uh, America. Do you sell keychains for a dollar? How much are your keychains? Which you like this one? Muchas gracias. Tenga un buen día. Gracias, what can I get Mucho for my gusto. change? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. This is your change. Do you want in the future? I'm trying to see what. Quanto? What? How many can, what what can I get yeah. for five dollars? I, I have this mine, yeah? Es muy caliente. I don't 
good job. <laughs> Tuve un gran tiempo. Uh, very good day. Very good day. <laughs> he said, You pay me. <laughs> we wasn't going to walk off. We just thought we had to pay uh, somebody else. <laughs> Trying new things again. Got some alligator bang nets. Alligato. It's not bad. Kind of tastes like a, a crab cake. It's actually not bad. It got some onions and peppers in it. You like uh, the soup? All right. Oh, soup um, I like trying um, new things yeah. when I'm away, experiencing new cultures. So um, it's actually much better than the rabbit I had yesterday. All right. Hello, my beautiful people. This is the last day of our vacation. It has been an absolutely phenomenal eight days. Um, took a lot of time to reflect, to be grateful, um, to be in a position where I can travel and to inspire you guys to live your best life, to go out and follow your dreams, chase your dreams, no matter you know how impossible they may seem. You got to understand that nothing is impossible. The word itself says that I am possible. So today, I want to remind you who you are. I remind I want to remind you that you have absolutely no limits absolutely nothing you cannot be nothing you cannot do nothing you cannot achieve if you set your mind to it the only limitations you have are the ones that you impose on yourself so guys whatever it is that you desire to achieve or to accomplish in this lifetime I import I implore you I encourage you to go after your dreams like I told you guys in a previous video in the sixth grade I knew that I was going to travel the world and for me to be here living out that dream seeing beautiful destinations and inspiring people along the way it's absolutely amazing you know I'm always grateful I'm always always have a gratitude a heart of gratitude you know to, to, to see my dream and in and, and full manifestation is absolutely it's amazing you know sometimes I don't even have the words to say but guys um, like I said this is the last video of this particular vlog we have a entire sea day and we'll be back in the states tomorrow but until next time guys go explore the world and find your own adventures remember you are possible and there's absolutely nothing you cannot be you want to go see the world go do it until next time bye for now